Snow and Lambeau, Coach. Something about that combo that just works, like peanut butter and jelly. And we've got half a foot of the white stuff and still coming down here in Green Bay. We all know this community lives for its Packers, and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago, and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. A gain of a yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now Wentz on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. And he'll send this one into the cold Lambeau night. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their 36-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Oh, he's gonna take a shot right away. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. Second and 10 on a chilly, snowy December day, and I must say, I'm loving it. Kind of putting me in the holiday spirit. Charles, Charles hates it. He's giving me the evil eye, folks. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. They'll get this one to the Golden Domer, St. Brown. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. First but one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From midfield, here's Rodgers. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Well, it's just been an aerial attack all the way downfield. They're putting it to the defense in a big way right now. What do you think, partner? Do you now run the football? Because they're in a pretty good spot already, the outer edges of the field goal. But like you always tell me, you're still far enough away from the end zone that a pass could be a good option here, too. You know, we always talk about running the ball until people take it away from you. I don't see any reason to stop throwing it until they take it away from you as well. Well, the early returns here on the opening drive, though, solid. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Throwing again, Rodgers, and down he goes. Aaron 
They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Duke Riley leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Throwing now is Rodgers. He sets up the screen to Jones. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. So on now for the Packers at their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. Taken about seven yards deep. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. It's just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. The throw over the middle taken in. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Complete to Jalen Rager. A gain of nine brings up third down. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. They'll try to run for it with Sanders. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. He's brought it's a first down following a gain of three. It's a gain of Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. The ball carrier. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the gun, it's Wins. That'll be caught. Rager with it. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. A two-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Shotgun now for Wentz. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. 
Here's Cameron Johnston now as he'll kick it away for the second time. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. The 30. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones taking it in. And the Packers are able to strike quickly for six. And with his speed, if he just finds the slightest crease, he can take it the distance like he did there. How about the leverage up front? Offensive line out leveraging the defensive front to create that space, that crease that he was looking for. And once he hits open field, he's going to be very difficult to catch and corral. They always worry about the plant foot in the snow, but no problems there. And the lead grows to 10 0. After the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? They'll pass there over the middle to start things out. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Looking to throw again on second down. Wentz and the reception made by Alshon Jaffrey. Seven yards there and a first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn it into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. by Dean Lowry. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run probing now early to try and get things done later. Third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one, you know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. On first and 10, it's Sanders. 
Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That one 28 yards on the ground. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan. Get the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. One yard game. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. It's a second down run with Sanders. Give them four on the carry there, but that only takes them back to where they started. Third and ten. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full ten yards on third down. Working from the gun, Wentz. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. So on comes the Eagle kicker, Jake Elliott, on fourth down. From the left hash, this from 39. The kick by Elliott is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? You got to find a way to unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Takes it at the 7. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. And Duke Riley will get credit for the tackle. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On second down, here's Rodgers. And this is caught. Mercedes Lewis with a grab. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Seven. Brings up third and three. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. 10-3 our score after one here on EA Sports. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Working from the gun, Rodgers to Valdez-Scantling over the middle. 
And he will have a first down here at about the 40. That's good. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Trying to get it to Adams, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Nikel Roby Coleman. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. So after the INT, here's Wentz. And he'll complete this one to Fulgham. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Wentz on the give to Sanders. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And they'll get this down to the 10. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. A, gain of a, yard. a one yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get him the next. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. On third and long, it's Wins. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Christian Kirksey providing a little deja vu. Back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. And for the second time tonight, his field goal unit comes out here. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. The kick by Elliott is good. And that'll bring him back within four. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. 
What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. <laughs> Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. by Brandon Graham. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. Now a first down carry by Jones. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. From the 44, Rodgers over the middle. That's caught by Adams. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 34-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Jones. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. And he gets it down to the 32. Complete two oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. The Packers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Rodgers to throw once more. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He was true on his first, this a tough one from 49 yards away. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13 to six. So chalk that down as an eight play drive capture the field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. Takes it at the 7. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. A touchdown would tie it. They trail 13-6 as they come up with a first and 10. Wentz to throw, and that's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Oh, 
So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Now wins. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver, and it's third down. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. The Eagles on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and ten. To throw is wins. And a throw there going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns one play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10 from the gun it's Rodgers and that'll be caught by St. Brown and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50 give him 10 there good enough for a Packer first down how about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. Rodgers on target there to Lazard, and they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 23 yards on the play. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. He'll have a first down inside the ten. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Jones with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Packers add on to their lead. Now Crosby for the point after. And the lead is up to 14. The kick is good. Makes the score. Packers 20. Eagles 6.
Jackson. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it... And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 29. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. The Packers take over first and 10 at the 20-yard line. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam coming out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. It's a pickup of three, and we have now arrived at the two-minute warning. Third and three. Now they brought in an extra defensive back here, so probably not expecting a run on third and three. A good call. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Able to find Lazard. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and, goal at the five. and they're on third and short. They just tried to spread the field. It worked. And I think that the spreading of the field, the extra receivers, has really become the next in the evolutionary chain in the NFL. Go all the way back in that situation, you're handed to the fullback, right? As we evolve, maybe you pitched it to your tailback. Now you spread the field, and you have your choices of where to throw it and complete it for a first down. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. From the gun, Rodgers. He hauls it in. Valdez scambling for the Packers touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Makes the score Packers 27, Eagles 6. this about five yards deep and he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line philadelphia getting sent to take the field they're down three touchdowns to this point needing to put something together as they have it first and ten shake off the interception from the last drive he'll look to throw he's going to drop this down to Sanders and he's brought down getting this one up to about the 35 it'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out and by a few inches that'll be a first down now they got to get to the line quickly on first and 10 here's Wentz 
Sanders has it over the middle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Shotgun now for Wentz. Catch made by Fulgham. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. Over the middle complete, it's Sanders. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Throwing again on second down. Wentz, that'll be caught. Rager with it. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Again, it's Wentz. And that's going to be caught front Eagles touchdown. Richard Rodgers. As the first half is winding down, and the Eagles get a score closer. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. And he's got it to make it 27-13. Makes the score Packers 27, Eagles 13. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taken in at the three. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. Javon Hargrave there on the stop. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. For Philadelphia. From the six. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. 
Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. The pro bowler Fletcher Cox there to get him down. A gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gain five yards on it, and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that, so when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. The left side throw complete to Adams. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Rodgers, slant to Adams, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11, first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. A nice run there by Jones on first down as he'll wind up getting about five, so second and five coming up. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now, and this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Working from the gun, Rodgers. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And he'll get it down on the plane to the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. On first down, Jones. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. He was brought That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Doesn't look to be any confusion here as they come up now on a second and six following the delay of game. They'll go again to Jones. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. This will be play number seven on the drive, third and a yard. Now it's Rodgers. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And they move this all the way down to the nine. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Aaron Rodgers. Keeping it himself from five yards out. And the Packers add six to their lead. 
I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. And he'll bang that one through. Good. Makes the score. Packers 34. Eagles 13. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Forced out to his left. And yeah, he's going to keep it here. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. From the gun, it's Wentz. And he'll complete this one to Fulgham. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. It's a gain of four, and it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Working from the gun, Wentz. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. So a change of possession here on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Packers offense set to go. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice, get rid of it, live to fight another down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. 57 the line. 57 the line. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. To throw again. Rodgers. Throw left side complete. It's Adams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. That's complete to Lazard. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Brings up second and nine at the 44-yard line. Second and nine from the 44. And again, it's Rodgers. He's got the hook up to Lazard. 
The reception good for seven. It's third down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up third and one. I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. So many times someone's success is the product of a lot of things coming together really well. And for Aaron Jones in 2019, it all came together for him. He stayed healthy, was on the field for all 16 games, got handed the ball 100 more times last year, and as an end result, Broke a 1,000 yards in a season rushing for the first time in his career. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and 10. Adams hauling it in from Rodgers. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Rogers pass. But he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. This a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. And the 13-year man puts it through, and that will extend the lead out to 24. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Eagles set and ready for their next offensive drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. There he goes, left side. And he will finally be taken out of bounds. A big play there on the catch and run. 75 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it will be second down. This is a tough situation offensively because down three scores, the field goal kicker is not even going to come into play here. As an offensive play caller, though, you know you have to take chances. This is a time to get creative. Get in the right room. Get in the right room. 
Once again with Sanders. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Eagles make some inroads here on that deficit. On that sideline, they're saying that was more like it. The first down run went backwards, that time into the end zone. And I like their little bit of courage and play calling, too, because after an unsuccessful run, especially one where you lose yardage, you oftentimes go right to throw in the football. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off with great anticipation. And a short return to the six-yard line. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Well, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. They'll run on first down. It's Jones. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Again, it's Jones. Some nifty running, but it only gets him to the 45. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The Packers on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and four. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Here's J.K. Scott now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. So a big break. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down leads to first and ten. They'll run it with Jones. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Let's go, 
The first carry now for the BYU man. It's Jamal Williams. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. the shotgun to give to Jones and he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36 yard line ball at a gate of three and it'll bring up fourth down so where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here someone made some adjustments it appears at least on this drive here's JK Scott now as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt The Eagles, the Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 20. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. He gets away from one. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Now they were looking to throw, holding on a big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You should got to pick up a holding call. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Wentz. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And he's able to get up here to the 26. It's a big play yet amazingly because of how far they had to go. They're still looking at a second down here. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. And Jeffrey's got it. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. An eagle first down, Wentz hooking up with Jeffrey. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. be accepted of course and that moves him back five so a little bit of a stiffer challenge now first and 15 following the delay of game wins to throw again oh it's a screen pass that's complete Sanders shaking and baking. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Throwing on first is Wentz. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. A gain of six there on first. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Wentz again. And that one finds the ground, breaking a string of five straight completions. And it brings up second down. No third, third down. 
Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. From the gun on third down, wins. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 27-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Wentz now on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Wentz now on first down. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's a gain of five on the play, and it's a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Now he's forced out left, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this foot. Diving for the end zone, and the ball's knocked out. And this is going to be Packer football. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. And they're going to get this all the way out past the 20. 23 yards, the final tally. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era. We think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. <laughs> On first down, Jones. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 32. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Eight yards. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Jones, and the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Brent, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there, and now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Able to find Lazard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Rodgers teaming up with Lazard there for a Packer first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. It's a gain of eight. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. 
And the offensive guys, they're just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 28. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Run down at the 23-yard line. A gain of five brings up second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Jones, and he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. At the 19-yard line. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football, and the Eagles have recovered. Playing in snow brings so many other factors into the game. It's not just trying to take care of the ball, and we just saw there that that's difficult to do, but just trying to keep your feet and carry out your assignments and, and make sure you're comfortable while you're out there playing. Are you warm enough in your clothing? A million things going on, but the biggest one, hold on to the ball. At the 28-yard line. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. To throw again on second down. Wentz, they're trying for Rager, but it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. Touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis. Interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Extra point try now for Crosby. And he's been a busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Packers 44, Eagles 19. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be fielded inside the five. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out up. of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the 35-yard line. Shotgun now for Wentz. 
And this one incomplete. With too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Now a desperation throw deep downfield and unable to connect, incomplete. Uh, give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Right there, 54. Right there. <laughs> Going for it with Sanders. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now wins. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. This ball complete to Rager. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. At the big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.